Measurement You can measure a table with a hand span. How many hand spans does this table measure? It measures six hand spans. A blackboard can be measured with the help of a cubit. The board measures nearly two cubit measures. Some things like the fruits and vegetables are measured by kilograms. We use weights like 1 kilogram, 500 grams, 200 grams, 100 grams and 50 grams. These weights are used for products like rice, wheat and sugar also. Other liquid items like milk or water is measured as liters. The lines in the tumbler shows the measurement. Time Now let us learn about a clock. The clock shows us the time of the day. Look at this clock. What do you see in the clock? Numbers from 1 to 12 and two hands pointing to the numbers. One hand is long and one hand is short. The shorter hand denotes the number of hours and is called the hour hand. The longer hand shows the minutes and is called the minute hand. The minute hand has to complete one full round of the clock to make an hour. In this clock, the short points towards 5 and the long hand points towards 12. So, the time is 5 o'clock. 60 seconds make 1 minute. 60 minutes make 1 hour. 24 hours make one day. 7 days make one week. 365 days make one year. 12 months also make one year. Let us learn with the help of some examples. In the first clock, the short hand points to 3 and the long hand points to 12. Therefore, the time is 3 o'clock. In the second clock, the short hand points towards 7 and the long hand points towards 12. Here the time is 7 o'clock. In the third clock, the short hand shows 9 and the long hand shows 12. So, the time is 12 o'clock. In these examples, let us draw the hand on the clock. First, let us draw hands for 4 o'clock. Short hand towards 4 and the long hand towards 12. For 8 o'clock, draw the short hand towards 8 and the long hand towards 12. Here, we have to draw for 6 o'clock. Draw the short hand towards 6 and the long hand towards 12. At what time do we get up in the morning? 6 o'clock in the morning. At what time do we eat our lunch? 12 o'clock in the noon. At what time do we go back home from school? 4 o'clock in the evening. At what time do we go to bed? 9 o'clock in the night. Money Let me first show you the different kinds of coins and notes that we use in our country. This is a 10 paise coin. This is a 20 paise coin. This is a 25 paise coin. This is a 50 paise coin. This is a 1 rupee coin. This is a 2 rupee coin. 
This is a five rupee coin. Now I will show you the currency notes. This is a one rupee note. This is a two rupee note. This is a five rupee note. This is a ten rupee note. This is a twenty rupee note. This is a fifty rupee note. This is a hundred rupee note. This is a five hundred rupee note. This is a thousand rupee note. And one rupee coin has the same value of an one rupee note. Two fifty paise coins have the same value of an one rupee coin or note. Four twenty-five paise coins have the same value of an one rupee coin or note, and five twenty paise coins have the same value. Of an one rupee coin or note. Let us see some examples to learn more about the value of money. When you like to buy a pencil worth seventy-five paise, we can use three twenty-five paise, which is equal to seventy-five paise, or one fifty paise, and one twenty-five paise, which is equal to seventy-five paise. Or one ten paise, two twenty paise, and one twenty five paise, which is also equal to seventy five paise. When you like to buy an eraser worth fifty paise, we can use two twenty five paise coins, which is equal to a fifty paise, or two twenty paise coins and one ten paise coin. Which is also equal to fifty paise, or we can also use five ten paise coins. In the same way, when you need to buy an ice cream worth eighty paise, we can use one fifty paise coin, one twenty paise coin, and one ten paise coin, which is equal to eighty paise. Or four twenty paise coins, which is also equal to eighty paise, or you can even use two twenty five paise coins, one twenty paise coin, and one ten paise coin.